Welcome to your todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman and let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. Skylight Health has sealed the deal to acquire Medicare Advantage global risk company NeighborMD. Skylight Health, a multi-state primary care management group in the U.S., will be welcoming NeighborMD's nine owned practices across Central and South Florida and over 2,400 owned and affiliated global capitated risk lives. Now, this is Skylight Health's largest acquisition to date. Greycliff Exploration has announced new results from its Shakespeare Gold project on the Canadian Shield. A phase three drill hole at the Sudbury, Ontario location has intersected over 20.5 grams per ton of gold at two meters and 39 grams per ton at over one meter. And this drilling program has been expanding the extent of gold mineralization near the historic Miller shaft that has been a gold mining location for over a hundred years. And Greycliff will also be participating at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. Shareholders and the investment community are invited to visit Greycliff at Booth 301 at the Vancouver Convention Center West on May 17th and 18th. Chatham Rock is awaiting finalization of its purchase of the Corella Mine in Northwest Queensland, Australia. In the meantime, Chatham Rock has started a scoping study of the phosphate mine in a nearby exploration area. While the scoping study is expected to wrap up this July, Chatham Rock says that the proposed 1 million tons per annum at the Corella South area would be able to export bulk amounts of low cadmium direct shipping phosphate ore through the port of Townsville Ridge. Edmonton-based mining company Green River Gold has officially kicked off its Quinell drilling program. The first phase of the nickel and magnesium project in the Caribou Mining District will consist of three holes of about 100 meters each and will be able to use a portable wiki drill. And lastly, Enviro Metals from Vancouver, BC is reporting a discovery of over 1,200 troy ounces of gold from its Surrey facility. The total extracted gold from this first quarter is valued at over $2.3 million US. And the minerals were collected using the company's patented gold recovery process and technology. The precious metal extraction company uses a process that allows the recovery of gold from ores to residue and dust, and it is meant to be safer and more efficient for miners. That wraps up this week's todaystocks.com news update. This is not financial advice, but tune in with us on our website, todaystocks.com, to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. Thanks for watching and see you next time.